I call this look Lost in California and more specifically Paradise Guy. I would put name this Paradise Guy instead of Paradise Vibes. Paradise Vibes is too commercial. This will be my review on the first book of Diary with a Wimp Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Have you watched the movie? What year did this come out? I remember seeing these books in the Scholastic paper catalogs that you ordered at school. So I've been here since the start. But is it 2008? Is that too early? I wonder when the first one came out. Because I think I watched the movie in the movie theater. So I was pretty much a fan. Did you watch the first, the two movies? Okay, let's start. I loved reading this book because it was quicker. It was on the perception of a, a pre-teenage boy. So and the quickness that comes with that. Little House on the Prairie is slow from a 15 year old and younger girl's perspective of the silent world, which I love, but it's more, it's more emotional and more feminine. This one was more fun. You can even tell by the color, it's red. Like it's giving a red, a red aura by Jeff Kenny. I bought this book originally because I was looking for a gift to give my younger cousin than me. It's funny to have cousins when you're an only child because, and especially if they're younger, because they are kind of a reflection to you of what age you were at their age. Okay, let me reword that. Any younger kid that you look at or talk to is a reflection of your younger kid so it's like you talking to your younger self and what would you tell your younger self if you could like don't you wish you couldn't give your younger self dog treats human treats but like gifts and pop culture gifts and music interests i guess you give what you didn't have so if you didn't have love you give love if you didn't have a curator or a mentor, you curate and you mentor as if you are doing it to yourself. And you could also wrap that around and actually do everything that you wish was done or given to you as a kid to yourself. Because if you look in the mirror long enough, you could see how you looked at 13 at any age, especially if you're older. If you look in the mirror, you could still see that preteen you is very weird but I think that's like the stem of nurturing your inner child very 2020 words but I think that's like the, the stem and basis of nurturing yourself is seeing your 13 year old self as yourself is that why I keep going back to the books that I read around that age because they just make so much sense and bring so much nostalgia oh my god look tape like they decorated the the art direction was a real diary written with pencil fonts with drawings that are pencil drawn with tape like oh my god this is like my dream book every book that you read every song that you listen to every show that you ever watched is a inspiration to you when you don't even know it but you need to do something anything like you have to draw or apply it and then it, your inspirations pop out with you even out uh, without even noticing like i had such a drawn tape and diy 
when everything I watched or read was DIY and tape, but it didn't pop out. Ooh, am I Canadian? It didn't pop out to in my work until I applied it to something. Okay, now let's get to the book. That was my intro. You might think I was pretty dumb for falling for that one, but Roderick, but Roderick was dressed up in his school clothes and he set my alarm clock ahead to make it look like I was. it was the morning. Plus, he closed my curtain so I couldn't see that it was dark out. Don't you just love the imagery of older brother playing playing pranks on younger brother? So cool. Show you the drawings. And it's a good first book because you can read any book out of the series and you don't have to read them in order. Some of them, I read Dog Days and Dog Days is like the sixth book. And that one, it's obviously going to reference the fifth book in seasons and months and birthdays. So it's like last birthday, I remember this, or you remember last winter when it was super cold. Like there's a bunch of those, but you don't have to actually like read them in order, which I like. And it's good for teenage boys, teenage girls. And I love the references of an American family. So it's mother, father, and there's three kids in this one and three kids living under one roof you could make a movie out of that anywhere you could place them in any country any state any city and we'll see all the problems and all the comedy that comes out of it if you were to place them in california you could make them more passive more tanning more surfers more You could place them in LA and you'll get Billie Eilish, right? Because she's influenced by American, Californian, Los Angeles culture. She might think she isn't, but she is a child of Los Angeles. Like the way she talks, the way she takes pictures, the way she sings. She's all... She's an American souvenir. I don't know if she's marketed that way or if that's just... The image that I perceived. How do you perceive it, Billie Eilish? Because whatever we perceive, it's wrong. Because she's Pisces rising. So we're supposed to be projecting onto her what we want her to be. Isn't that crazy? Ashley Simpson was that too. And it's so obvious. Like you're projecting all your angst, your pop punk, your black eyeliner all onto her. Because that's what you want her to be. I realize that's what Pisces is. But is it right? Is it wrong? I don't know. Let's go back to... Diary of a Wimpy Kid, the story of my life. <gasps> Diary of a Wimpy Kid, what are those two dots called? Not semicolons, but dot, dot, the story of my life. Mm. That would be the autobiography for Jeff Kennedy, right? You can pay me $10 for that idea, Jeff Kennedy. Okay, let's keep going. And the DIY of living in a small town, all the books I read stem from that. I think it's just a relatable concept that we all understand living in America from anywhere else. Or maybe it's a worldwide concept. Yeah, I think it's a worldwide emotional concept of living in a small city when you know there's bigger cities just hours away from you. But the idea of having Halloween and building your own DIY maze, like, so cool. It's so homey. Homey. Homey with the Y, not with the IE. I like this book because he, he writes it in real diary days. So it's like all mini scenes of someone's life. So it is a diary. It's like little de depictions of what you've done with your 24 hours. And some days the passages are only one page. Like sometimes they're only one paragraph and sometimes they are very long. Isn't that cool? I read The Invisible Boy and his were very long. 
but his that book was based on the imagery of losing a father figure and following the depression and the loss of spiritual connection of that and recalling on nostalgia and memories maybe i'll do a review on that book too that book was a hard read for me because it was very slow but now looking back i think that was the magic of it because it slowed you down to look through a 13 year old boy's eyes of losing your father and thinking that that wasn't ever supposed to happen and just recalling the memories of that it's very sweet. This will be in my little cousin's Christmas gift bag or box because I don't know, it's funny to gift things that you read at their age. It's kind of like a full circle moment, right? To watch the things that you were interested in come around and still be popular. Like Avril Lavigne, that sound that she created when she was 16, you live long enough that the world goes round. It's gonna rotate with or without you. It doesn't matter if you're awake or asleep, the world's still gonna spin. You live long enough that that sound that you created is now popular again and now they're coming to you to emulate that sound. So crazy. So I talked about like a little bit of this book, but a lot about this book. Kind of talking about like the borders around it more than the actual book, because that's for you to experience, right? I could just recommend it. Okay, I think I locked Chica in my bathroom on accident, so I'm gonna go let her out, but that's bye-bye for me.